up everyone it is your girl jail beauty and seven here aka grace and today we're gonna get into my sephora savings event vip recommendations so i actually filmed y'all a wish list this year y'all know i don't never do wish lists but i actually did one this year so i'm proud of me so you know sm small clap for me because i actually filmed what i was buying as opposed to always telling you what you need to buy i actually made sure i put a good amount of the stuff that i um I'm recommending in this video on my face too, so I usually don't do that. I told you, we're trying to get better this year. I'm going to try to actually make sure I put links in the description box too. Who am I? I don't know. But Adrian came over his own this week, so maybe that's why I feel like I'm more energized and have more time to do stuff. Because I try to give him time and y'all time too, and it just be a whole thing. But without further ado, let's get into it. Because you ain't coming here for You came here to see the stuff on my face recommended to you. So let's get to it. So I'm going to start off with the stuff that's literally on my face to recommend to you. And then we're going to get into the order I normally do. You know, primers and foundations, concealers, correctors, all that type of stuff. So, I guess I should start off with the primer. So, I have on the Cali Ray Soul Blown Clean Blurring Primer with Collagen Peptides. I love this stuff. Like, when I first saw them recommending this, I was like, ooh, yes, give it to me. Can y'all see it? Yeah. So, when I first saw this, I was like, ooh, yes, give it to me. Because it seemed like it was going to be, like, really smooth and really nice. And it is. And I love this stuff for it. So, I definitely want to recommend that. I have another one. I think I have, like, two. A couple more I want to recommend, but like I said, I'm starting off with the stuff that's on my face right now. So I'm put that behind me so I remember not to talk about it again. Then I used the corrector today. So I used the Rare Beauty. What is this called? The writing is so tiny, I don't know. Under Eye Brightener in the shade Medium Tan. So I have this one underneath my eyes right now to start off with. And I think it did an excellent job. It definitely gave me some brightness that I was looking for. I like the little cooling metal wand that goes on here. And it still evens out the product nicely. Some of them I feel like don't do that great a job when you're like even in and out. So I don't, you know, necessarily like using them for that. But some of them um, do a pretty good job. And that's one that does a pretty good job. I feel like it gives nice brightness to my under eyes. You can see my under eyes look nice and bright and cute or whatever. Then um, the foundation I used. So I actually didn't use the foundation. I used this blurring skin tint from Fenty that I bought during the sale. I got the shade 20. I got a sample from Sephora to compare to the, um, what do you call it? The um, blurring skin tint from um, NYX. So that's how I originally got this product. But I was like, let me go ahead and try it out for myself. Comparing it to the NYX. And honey, it doesn't give as much coverage as the NYX. But I feel like it looks just as nice as the NYX. So this is what she looks like. This is actually what's on my face right now. And I feel like it did a pretty good job of calling up that dark spot that I have over here in the section of my face. But I did put a little bit of concealer over it because I didn't know how well this was going to work out. And I was like, mmm. But you were skin tint, so mmm. Because y'all know I'm not part of this skin tint revolution and vibe. But since my skin has been clearing up a lot more and looks a lot nicer, I figured, you know, I might take the plunge and try it out. So I did. And this is, I think, my third time wearing it i wore the sample twice because i was trying to see if it would be a good alternative to the um you know the um the nyx one. and i feel like it is if you don't want as much coverage because the nyx is going to give more coverage than this is but i feel like it's it looks really nice and it does look quite blurring on the skin but i did use other things that say they have blurring in them so i don't know if it's all just this on its own or what next product we're gonna get into is the sephora best skin ever full coverage multi-use concealer now the thing the reason i'm trying to push this is they're giving 30 percent off of their brand so it's like even if you're like a vib or you know just a regular beauty insider you can get 30 percent off their brand and everybody's raving about this concealer for a reason this is the concealer obviously like i said i put all the stuff on this underneath my eyes and i think i just look brightened and gorgeous i wear the shade 44y in the ease drops i wear the shade 20 and i told y'all wear medium tan in the um Brightener, so I told y'all all the names, all the stuff so far. And honey, say my under eye don't look smooth and nice and brightened like with that. And then I used the brightening powder too, which probably helped. So I got my 50. I need to pick it up, excuse me. But yeah, so so for the blush, I used two different blushes because I had to be extra. Now, I actually don't have a um bronzer that I brought with me to use in this video, believe it or not. So Oh, but I guess I'll start with the powders and then we'll go to the blush and the uh, highlighter because I do have some of those. So this is the powder I'm using underneath the eyes. Of course, I have the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Brightening Flawless Finish Powder in Shade Tan Deep. I've actually been using this quite a bit. It has I don't know if y'all be able to see, but she has a nice little dip in her. But because it's so bright, I feel like you can't. But there's a nice little dip in this section right here because I do use this pretty often. I go between this one and the NARS one depending on what I want. I feel like I'll use the NARS more in the summertime, so I'm trying to use this one while it's spring because it's like I, I want 
to be more matte in the summertime because I know it's going to be hotter and I have oily combination skin. But this powder is amazing. I definitely think it gives you a nice blur. The only thing is I feel like it looks like it has like a little bit of shimmer to it when you put it on. But I've adjusted and gotten used to that. I just try to look at this more of like a, you know, I have a glowing from within brightening going on underneath my eyes. So I have accepted it and moved on. Okay, so the foundation powder I chose to put on my face because I did use a foundation powder instead of a setting powder. Because again, this is a skin tint and I tried to give it all the help it needed when it came to coverage because I knew it was going to be lacking that area because it's a skin tint. So I got the One Size Turn Up the Base Versatile Foundation Powder in the shade Dark 4G. Now, obviously, Stephanie or Bethany here on YouTube made me buy this. She was talking about this powder and I was like... Um, okay, because I hadn't thought about buying this, even though I don't know why, because I know Patrick Star makes amazing powders. Let me show you what my shade looks like, but I've used it a little bit. I haven't been using this that much. I've been trying to use the Makeup for Everyone a little bit to test it out some more, because y'all know I had to do a complexion corner video on all this stuff. I think this was in the last complexion corner, so you won't see it in um, the one that's coming up, but I did review a whole bunch of foundations and primers and everything else. So, um... That's why I haven't been using that one as much. It's not because I don't like it because you still literally see like the coverage on my face looks amazing. One thing Patrick Star cannot always make me is a powder. I don't care what's going on. That man can make me a powder and I buy it. Okay. So I have two blushes on right now, believe it or not. Um, yes, I had to be that extra, but I want to show y'all um, two different things. Plus, um, I'm the type of person when I use a cream blush, I don't care if it does dry down to powder. I'm going to put a powder on top. Plus, sometimes y'all know blushes don't be looking as pigmented. And it started off super pigmented and I feel like it doesn't look... That pigment, it looks about the pigment that I wanted to look after I put on a whole bunch of blush. So, it's giving what I wanted it to give and I used two different blushes to achieve this. So, y'all know I had to use the Danessa Myra's Yummy Skin um, Blush Balm, I guess is what this is called, and Prima Donna. So, I'm going to get the shade Golden Hour during the sale just because I'm here for it. It's a whole vibe and I'm like, yes, I love these and these wear actually quite well throughout the day. So, I have Golden Hour in my cart for like purchasing online i only showed y'all my cart for purchasing in store and that one was bigger than the one online believe it or not so i was shocked that my sephora had that many products in stock so we'll see on the 14th if they actually in stock or not and then you will get a haul that day because honey so in that video i'm gonna need y'all to comment down below and tell me um what you want to see from it when it goes up tomorrow because it's going up the day after this one okay on to the other blush now y'all know i had to use the house labs i got the color flush Color, color fused blush in the shade dragon fruit days of course that's the one that works best on top of here so if i wanted to brighten up the blush a little bit because the danessa myers one is a little deeper you want to brighten it up just pop this on top and you'll get the color that i have going on on the cheeks right here i think it's a pretty nice color and then if you just want you know to be bright on its own you can obviously just use this on its own and this builds up quite nicely and it's pretty pigmented so if you put on a lot and then you do the spray technique that i showed you on my um givenchy video for the givenchy concealer my updated foundation routine i'll try to remember to link it up above then you um could um easily make it look like this and i think it looks stunning so the next things i have is two highlighters yes y'all i did a bougie super bougie expensive highlighter combination but um i forgot to bring the rare beauty one that i wanted to put with this charlotte tilbury highlighter so i just had to improvise on another one and i think it turned out pretty nice so i this is the charlotte tilbury in my Teresa's dead voice hollywood glow guide face what is it Arch architect highlighter in the shade rose gold glow so i have rose gold glow and bronze glow gold glow just to start off with but i really want to get the pillow talk one because i like rose goldish type highlighters plus i feel like i can mix it with other highlighters and make it like more catered to my skin tone since i have so many highlighters and i just love charlotte tilbury's highlighter formula like i look like i'm going from playing the natural for when i want to do something simple and then i still got my glittery highlighter for when i want to be extra so <clears throat> as you can see i've been using this one a lot i feel like people don't make a lot of rose gold highlighters which is another reason i want to get this one in particular because i feel like it's hard for me to find a rose gold highlighter i might have like four in my collection out of all the highlighters that i have just because i feel like people don't do rose gold so i was excited she did rose gold and happily paid the 48 dollars because honey this is not cheap Okay, it's not cheap. It's 48 bucks, so you definitely need to buy it during the sale, okay? So I have planned on getting on Pillow Talk during the sale because that's the only other one I thought I was interested in. Y'all know I don't really do much gold highlighter. That's why I bought the bronze and the rose gold to start off with. And then I will get Pillow Talk and see how it works out for some of my skin tone. But next, this one is an oldie. So this is the Dior Forever 
powder was an intense highlighting powder i have the shade rose gold glow if you all remember i didn't like the way the shade looked on me on its own so this is more of a mixer highlighter for me because for 48 dollars because i think this is 48 just like charlotte so this is expensive ass highlighter combination on my face but you know i was gonna make it work because i love dior products and i knew it was gonna be a good product because i love their highlighters they're one of my favorite high sorry luxury highlighters it's just more of this color doesn't 100 percent do it for me but mixing with other colors i feel like it looks stunning so this is mixed in with the shawl it's chilly baby and that's how it's giving me what's going on so what i did was i um swatched the, i went into the shawl it's tillberry one first and put it on and then i'm just gonna put the your one on top so you can see what it looks like close up so this the sun's coming in now because it's like six o'clock so sorry about that but yeah that's what it looks like on my skin tone so that's what's going on in the face i feel like it's that's a nice little perfect pearlescent type of um rosy-ish pink shade to the skin but it's not giving like that ash and um that um silver line that you get on your face when you try to wear um a highlight and work for your skin tone in my personal opinion it's not giving that so that's why i'm here for it so now that i've talked about all the stuff that is actually on my face y'all stuff trying to fall mm -mm. just to get all the highlighters and powders can't be falling you get your life in order no 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 and then we have to be, you know, calling it everything except a child of God. So, uh, no. So, let me get into the stuff that actually isn't on my face now. Because it's quite a bit of that, too. But y'all know, I've been trying a whole bunch of stuff. So, I've been having a whole bunch of stuff to talk to you about now. A couple of these things are actually old. Just because um, some things I bought later on. And a couple of them I think I might have mentioned before. My apologies if I already mentioned them. It's just I didn't have time to go back and watch my video and see. And I wanted to make sure why I had two times that this video was up and done like it was supposed to be. So a couple of them are, are older products. I'm not even going front. But girl, you know, you need to see them. So I was just like, we just have to pull them out and dust ourselves off and try it again. So I actually have like five primers to talk about and a color corrector. So I'm going to start off with the color corrector because I only have one. And then we'll get into all the primers. So let me grab this other primer real quick because... It's in the um, basket for the um, overrated versus the underrated. I got a couple more things I'm waiting on with that. So that's why I haven't filmed it yet. And I'm going to have another five brands of Duke themselves coming soon. Just because y'all know mother coming out with that eye quad. And I'm like, now if the bronzes are going to be on sale when the Sephora sale starts, I definitely recommend you get them from Sephora. Especially if you lose because you can get the 20% off. As opposed to only getting 10% off from buying them from her. But if you're a content creator and obviously you like me, you just went ahead and bought it. You didn't ask questions because we've been waiting for mother to come out with bronze for a while. Just like we waited blush a while. So now let's get into this stuff. So I got the Smashbox Loves Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector in the shade Dark. Um, I just found it interesting that when they were about to go out of business, pretty much when they decided to make color correctors for everybody. So it's like... So you're trying to get us to save your brand by finally being inclusive with this corrector that you have for 500 years or what? Because, like, why did it take so long to come out with it? I mean, it's a good product. Don't get me wrong. I heard other people saying it's a good product. I never actually got to try it for myself because it just came out after Becca was gone. So I don't know how I feel about that. But it is a good product if you want to try it. I just, I don't know. I felt some type of way about them waiting until, you know, it was in the last stitch after to try to save themselves. And that's why that's when it was important enough to make one for me. So that's how i'm looking at it and i'm not necessarily feeling it but since people have raved about it for 100 years i was like i want to try about it and now that um flower beauty has a dupe coming out for it i definitely want to be able to compare it so that's i'm glad i went ahead and just bought it so i think i talked about this time before as honorable mentioned one time this is glowish by huda beauty blur jam i actually like this primer now because it has nice nice cooling sensation only thing is it feels really silicone -y, even though it's not necessarily silicone -y. It has, and it has this, like really weird texture so this one comes with a scoop there's a alternative dupe that i'm going to put in an underrated versus overrated video that you can get for this one so if you don't necessarily want to get this and you want to hold off to that video that's fine but it is a really nice product um how many grams is in here um 0 0.87 grams is in here and then the dupe is like 20 bucks and um i'm not sure how many is in there again that's gonna be an underrated versus overrated so if you want to hear about that you can stay um tuned for that video to come up i'm waiting on a couple more products to show up at my door to compare and make sure you know that it is what i think it is but um yeah uh it's a good primer if you want to try it out during the sale and you like hooded beauty stuff next i have this um natasha denona hygiene skin glass and general 
was it energizing and hydrating priming serum now i do like this to have a nice glow from within moment when i put it on a matte foundation i'll use something like this and then you know you can just use them um, um mattifying powders and mattifying setting sprays to make up for that if you want to use this primer but this is what i'll use more now during the spring before it starts getting like hot outside and sometimes if you have oily combination skin i wouldn't dare say use this if you have normal skin or dry skin i figure it'll be good for you any time of the year but if you have oily combination skin like me but you really like the glow and look of this then i feel like you should be using it during like the winter spring maybe toward the end of fall into winter is be acceptable but otherwise like yeah girl don't try this but it's a really good product it feels really nice and hydrating and on the skin and it does give a gorgeous glow and i can even see the glow after i put on my foundations that are matte so that's why i said if you want to use it during this time it's fine but once it gets hot outside girl don't 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 do it don't do it don't do it don't 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 play yourself like that so of course y'all know i have to talk about this new one because i was so excited when it came out and i've been loving this primer so this i was mad i had to bring it over here and leave it like for a week just to <laughs> film this video but this is the glow recipe strawberry bha pore smoothing blur drops pore refining and blurring serum primer so i love this stuff I definitely get your hands on this like a skincare brand coming out with a primer is always a good thing to me like i usually love those the best so i definitely recommend getting this and I used the um the skincare products that they had with this originally. So being able to put this on and wear it all day to help with the pore refining and then wash my face at night and putting it on again, I feel like just amps it up a bit for me. Now I don't do that every single night when I use this. I try to like alternate nights. So I maybe use like twice a week um this primer and then put that on at night to like reinforce what I use with this to make it work out. Now I'm not a skincare person. I'm not an aesthetician or a dermatologist. So you don't have to necessarily do it the way I do it. I'm just telling you the way that I do it. So I'll use this in the daytime when I have my makeup on and all that. Then when I wash my face and cleanse it at night, then I use like the strawberry serum that they have at night, overnight. And I feel like it's been giving me good results. So I'm just telling you what I do. But like I said, you don't have to do what I do. Okay, so of course y'all know the um, oily combination girl gonna have some matte primers. So I was trying to save those for last because they're most expensive primers here. Um, so yeah, y'all know I'm gonna start off with the Gucci one that I tried when I got the um, Gucci foundation. Actually, I got this primer before I got the foundation because I think the primer came out before the foundation. But yeah, this is the Mattifying Priming Shine Control. I think it does a pretty good job after having tried it out a few times when I had first tried it a couple of times. I was like, I don't necessarily see it. But mixed with a mattifying setting spray, excuse me, I feel like this does an excellent job. Especially if you put a matte foundation on with it, it looks gorgeous all day. Like when you put this with their foundation, it is a pretty good match when you have it. And then you put on your Charlotte Tilbury setting spray or the new Milk Makeup um what is the blurring um, polar eclipse mattifying setting spray i feel like um they work together really well along with other mattifying products so i only have like a little look lived in like your skin but better oily looking moment as opposed to like being a whole grease trap so i really like this primer and i can't wait to see how it's gonna work out in the summertime because i've been using it now during like the spring and toward the end of winter and i want to see how well it's gonna work in the summer but i feel like it'll hold up pretty well so i recommend it and since it costs like I think like 50 bucks or more than 50 bucks. I'm not 100% about that. I definitely think you should get it during the sale though, girl. Because, honey, y'all know these luxury brands be high. Then I got the Dior Forever 24 Hour Blurring Matte Primer Long Wearing Comfort. This stuff, I like this one better than the Gucci. This gives more of, my, of like a lotiony texture to it. But, honey, it feels amazing when you put it on the skin. I do feel like I definitely see the blurring. And it does a pretty good job of mattifying the skin alongside um a lot of my other foundations so i really like it for that and like i said it's mixed with that um with a good mattifying setting spray it holds on to the makeup a pretty decent amount of time even make foundations that aren't necessarily um matte like when i wear like the luminous matte and the satin matte and stuff like that when i wear foundations that aren't like 100 percent matte it does a pretty good job so definitely recommend that okay let's pull out some foundations now because i have a few i think some are old and some are new my apologies in advance girl but oh crap y'all i forgot one of the color correctors it's because it's in a tube and not set up where i want to oh good boy there's so much foundation in here let me not i just take out the other stuff except the foundation that's how much it is but yeah so I, I meant to talk about this so i had the fenty beauty bright fix 
eye brightener. I got the shade Honey Mustard. I really like this stuff. I actually like to mix this with the um, what is it, the Rim Beauty Pot Concealer that I have in that orange, in that yellowish shade it has, because it definitely gives a lot of brightness underneath the eyes. So that way, I don't have to use a brightening powder like Charlotte Tilbury. Like you can use a translucent powder after mixing this with that, and it'll look amazing underneath your eyes. So if you like a more yellow brightened under eye, but you um don't necessarily have like to use yellow powders i feel like this would be good for you because you can get that yellow brightness that you want blend it out nicely then put your concealer on top you can still see the brightness underneath and then you can just use um a normal like translucent powder or your skin tone powder or whatever powder you prefer to use underneath the eyes and you'll still get a nice little like um brightness from yellow underneath so i i really like this product and i'm glad i got it i don't know what took me so long to get it i guess because i wasn't crazy about the fenty beauty concealer if you will I didn't rush out to get this. I'm feeling like that's what it was. I hate to say it, y'all, but I wasn't really a fan of it. So, I mean, that's why I didn't rush out to get it. And that's what took me so long to be able to talk about it. So, I want to talk about this LYS foundation because I don't think I talked about it in the last video. I know I talked about the concealer, but I'm not sure if I talked about the foundation or not. So, this is the LYS Triple Fix Serum Foundation. When this first came out, I didn't want it because it's a serum foundation. And I'm not really big on serum foundations, if you all um, didn't know. Like, skin tints and serum foundations are things I'm just not crazy about. But this doesn't actually feel like a serum foundation, which surprised me. I wear the shade DG7 in it. And y'all know LYS is a black-owned beauty brand that has um, reasonably priced products at Sephora. And it's supposed to be clean beauty, if I remember correctly. Yes, yeah, clean beauty. So, um, I really love this foundation. And I want to give y'all some affordable options, too. So, of course, y'all know I had to bring in the matching concealer. Where is it? Yeah. I love the shade of this concealer. This is a triple fix full coverage brightening concealer. Y'all know I love a brightening concealer. And I wear the shade DG3 in this. The only thing that everybody complains about, and I agree with them, is like this, the way you have to open this up, like this little big hole to put the thing in. Everybody be scared that they're going to break the top off their um, wand and then they won't be able to apply the product. So that's the only complaint I have with this. But these are a match made in heaven. This on its own with other products is fine. And it's just lovely. Their powder is really nice too, but I feel like I've talked about that in a couple of videos. So I didn't want to like talk about it a whole whole lot so that's why i didn't include that girl the battery flashing because i've been sitting here talking so long so let me go off camera and get another battery and then we can talk about more foundations because honey y'all know it's more foundations concealers powders it's just more of every single thing there is to have so i hope you brought a snack girl because we're gonna be here a good long time be right back okay y'all i got the battery now I, now i can continue talking about 452 foundations no um uh, <laughs> but the next foundation I have to talk about, sorry, stuff is sliding everywhere as usual because there's a million things sitting around me as usual. So it's always some idea in my head that we have to put on film. So it, everything just sliding around. So forgive me if I keep moving and adjusting because stuff keeps sliding. Like right now, some powder just tried to slide on my leg. Girl, wait your turn, girl. Girl. Okay, so next one I have to talk about, I guess I should get this one out of the way because I was um, talking mad crap about it and how I didn't like it or whatever. But And then I'm growing on me. So this is the Dior transfer proof 24 hour foundation high perfection concentrated flower skin care with sunscreen broad spf 15 so this is the matte version of the um foundation they came out with a while ago because i have i think I, ha I have both of them so i have this matte one and then i have like the more um i think it's supposed to be satin or like dewy whatever you want to call it natural finish foundation but my problem with dior foundations is first of all they always look this orange this red shade and crazy so i always have to color correct the foundation before i can put it on my face and then i don't know like with this one i just felt like it wasn't that great for what it was but after i found the right color correction match i um felt like it was a good product it lasted pretty well in the summertime too which is what impressed me about it so i was like okay okay we can last through the summertime then you know like then you can be a contender the only thing i will say is i still hate to this day that when it comes to the original dior collection like the dior forever collection i always have to color correct it whereas when it comes to the dior backstage i don't have to do that like i can just put it on and go so i think that's another reason i don't necessarily buy that much from dior forever when it comes to their complexion products just because it's like i know i'm gonna have to adjust a whole bunch of stuff because they the colors for it i hate to say but they trash like the, the colors that dior be picking in their dior forever line is trash it's like y'all need to let the backstage people take over that section because y'all not doing it right at all like all these colors are crazy and i shouldn't have to mix 40 things to make these colors work i'm gonna need them to go have several seats and like Leah said, honey, dust yourself off and try again. Now, I brought an old one out the credits just because I didn't want to just talk about a whole bunch of new stuff. 
and this might just make you pull out this foundation in your collection so i figured that could be helpful too so this is the huda beauty full filter skin finish buildable coverage foundation stick i wear the shade 500 g mocha i always wear the shade 500 g mocha when it comes to huda beauty foundation so um this is my color this is a stick i have used it quite a bit if you can't tell by the way it's worn down at the angle girl this stick is loved i used to use this as my rush to work stick and then i have the matching concealer so let me just go ahead and show that now i know i took it back a little bit but you know every once in a while i feel like you should dig back in your collection so i have this what is it the full filter luminous matte liquid concealer in the shade crumble 7.1 neutral i really like this concealer as well so i like to mix this look like i use a lot of it it has this huge like doe foot applicator right here and i like to put this on with that foundation and they look so good and nice and skin like together it kind of looks like what i got going on with the face right now so obviously it gives more coverage because it is a full coverage i'm oh, sorry a buildable coverage product so i feel like it starts off at like a um medium coverage and then you can build it up to full if you add more swipes so it's amazing and i definitely recommend that you get it or that you just pull out your collection and use it again to remember how awesome it is okay another one i had that i had changed my mind about i feel like i talked about this one before but you know since i'm talking about the powder foundation version of it i feel like i should talk about the liquid as well this is the one size turn up the base bbb cream beauty blurring balm so this is what it looks like i if y'all remember like in 2022 when i went to vegas with my cousin i actually went to the store and found this just so i could do a weird test for y'all and do the outro and then i just did the intro and the showing at home because that's how i be dedicated so but i didn't like this when i first tried it i don't know what it, i think it was the texture that was off for me and it wasn't that it was a bad product because when i put the product on my face it um looked gorgeous at the end it's just like it's one of those like i didn't like it till the end like i didn't enjoy the experience of putting this product on and for the most part to this day i still don't but it's still a good product so i feel like i should talk about it. and as you can see i've been using it a bit because it's shrinking a little bit so this is another one of those that surprised me because since it's called a, a beauty blurring balm or bbb cream i was like i don't I don't know how I feel about it because I thought it was going to be like this fifty skin tint. I was going to have to add products and do a whole bunch of stuff to make it work. But um, Patrick still managed to make that a good, decent, medium coverage. So as long as you can make your BB creams or your skin tints a medium coverage, I'm fine with buying them. And I'm liking that a lot of the drugstore brands are doing that as opposed to like the um, high-end brands that aren't. So I've been gravitating towards the drugstore when it comes to stuff like that because I feel like they've been doing it way better. Random side of them. Um, next foundation I have to talk about, I feel like y'all should have known the Gucci one was going to come up. This is the Gucci 24 Hour Wear Breathable Foundation Luminous Matte Finish. So, this is the foundation I was talking about that goes with the primer I showed y'all earlier. Honey, it's amazing, it's wonderful, it's giving all of what it needs to give. I mean, like, it's giving it all. And I'm here for it as a whole vibe. I'm like, yes, give it to me. Y'all, I left a product in the bathroom, so I'm gonna have to. I should have grabbed it, but I didn't realize till now it's gone. But anyway, this foundation is amazing. I will say though, the color of this one is really off. Like compared to the um original one I have, the first one that came out, which I think is a natural um finish. It's supposed to be natural finish or satin finish. I like the color of that one way better. I like the color of this one. To me, this one is giving like an orangish type twinge to it, and I add powders and concealers and make it work out for me. But it's like I'd like it to work out from the beginning, especially because of the price of this. I think this is fifty-eight dollars, or was it sixty-eight? I know it was something that ends with an 8 and I'm thinking it's like $58 to $68. So, like, the fact that it's doing all that and I still have the color correct, like, I need these luxury brands to get together. We are not orange. You call us black, we're not that either. But it's like, black and orange is not, we're not either one of those. We're brown. So, I'm gonna need you to stop making these orange foundations and passing them off and um, thinking people should pay $58 to $68 for it. Like, $48, I'm, I'm gonna need you to get it together. Because the Beauty Oral one was 48 and I'm telling you, that one was like 58 or 68 if I remember correctly. It's a good product. It's just, you know, be prepared to work with it if you want to have it. Because, again, that's one of those, like, you might have to dip um, the yellow color corrector in it to make it work a little bit better for you. Because I wasn't feeling the orange it was giving me. Now, I know a lot of people don't like this product, but I do. So, we will talk about it. I like this Patrick Ta Cream Foundation and Finishing Powder Duo. I have the shade Tan 3. I really like this product. 
The powder in here is amazing. I wish you could sell the powder individually. I know a lot of people said that too. And as you can see, mine has a nice little dip in it because I have been using it. Sometimes when I'm getting ready for work, I'll put pick this up real quick because I know I can just glide it on the skin and it'll look nice. And I can put this powder underneath my eyes with a random concealer and Sometimes I'll put this powder over my face and just be ready to go because, I mean, it's a really, really nice powder. So I can't wait till he starts selling the powder individually. Or maybe he'll do a um, trio of powders for the holiday and have like a three-pack for different skin tones or something like that. I think it'd be cool if he had this and then like the bronzer and um, maybe like a blush, all three powders and like a little compact for the holidays of different skin tones. I think that'd be cool because all his powder products seem to be really nice as well. But I know the cream to powder when it comes to his blushes are like um, his thing. So I don't necessarily see that happening, but you know, I, I can dream. But the powders are amazing. So hopefully he'll eventually come out with individual powders for you to buy as opposed to having to buy that. Cause I don't think this, um, foundation can I mean the foundation and the powder combo are doing that well because I know on his website he give me like ten dollars off if you do like a um what do you call that a, um I think it's like a survey you do and then they give you a coupon to buy that product so I, that's what's making me think it's not doing that well I don't know but you know I think it's a nice product it's just you have to really set that foundation down because um, it's not necessarily working that great for um, people with my skin tone. And I heard people with normal skin and dry skin say they don't like it either. So I'm like, who's the product actually supposed to be for then if lots of different skin types are saying that they don't like it? I don't know. But like I said, I liked it. It's just I found a way to set it and that I feel like it looks nice on me. Moving on. <laughs> so next I have the KVD Good Apple. What is this? Full coverage serum foundation. I have the shade tan 074, which I find interesting because I've heard other influencers who are lighter and I say they have this shade as well and it works for them. So I'm trying to figure out how it works for me and them because 074 is the shade I normally buy. I know it works for Tina the Fancy Face, you know, back there in the background. But um I don't I I always thought it was weird that she and I could wear the same shade, but we can. So then I saw somebody I think that was lighter than her that had bought the shade too, and then I was confused because if I remember my girl Faye Lene here on YouTube, she's friends with Andrea Renee. She bought this shade too just recently and was talking about she's gonna try it out. So I'm like, how are all of us wearing this same shade? I have questions. But it works for me. You all saw my video. You saw it on my skin. I, I didn't have any issues with it being off color or anything like that. So, um. I don't know what's going on with the switchcraft of this, us all being with this color, but this one is definitely more geared toward oily combination skin, whereas y'all know the original was more toward dry skin because it was so thick and emollient. I actually want to try mixing both of them together just to see how it works out. So I think I might do that this week just because I'm curious. I'm not going to make like a video on it unless y'all are interested in seeing it, but it's like I'm just curious how this and that are going to go together because that one's so thick. So I was thinking about like in the places where I have like a lot of dark spots and stuff on my face i can put the cream one and the balm and then like the places where i don't need as much coverage i would just go ahead and put this one on and just kind of blend it all together and see how that works out so i'm thinking that's what i'm going to do but if you want to try this out random side i mean that was a random side i know what i was talking about but if you want to try this out i definitely think you should because if you have oily combination skin you'll like this way better than you will like the balm but i like both so it just depends on what i want to do today which one i'm going to use so next I have the House Labs Trio Chrome Skin Tech Foundation. I wear the shade, was A42? No, sorry, 470 Deep Medium Cool, which I thought was weird, but they, she has her foundation set up the same way Anastasia Beverly Hills does. When it comes to warm and cool, like if you normally have a golden undertone, they have you in cool for some reason as opposed to warm. I think warm is supposed to be for like red and like pink or something like that. I forgot. Somebody had explained it in their video, but I like this foundation. I saw some people say they didn't like it. I love this foundation. I feel like this is a gorgeous skin-like foundation. I feel like she did a good shade range to start off with. And I was truly impressed with this product. So this is what made me buy from her brand to try it out. She came up with this foundation and I ended up getting the bronzers and the highlighters because I was like, I'll try some more stuff since you know i'm trying this and the setting powder which you'll see in a few minutes and i loved all of it now i don't have the setting powder for my skin tone and i don't plan on getting it just because like i have so many setting powders and then foundation powders on top of it so it's not a need but you know this foundation i definitely feel like you should try it out i, I think it's amazing and i think it looks really nice on my skin and it did an excellent job it did what it needed to do now i feel like i have talked about that one before for the um sale in um it was another sale that came up, I think, that I talked about that. 
So my apologies, but the next foundation I have to talk about, I know I talked about for sure, but like Make It Forever just be out here killing it. And since I don't ever really like their foundations, since I found one I did like, I definitely want to talk about it. So this is the Make It Forever HD Undetectable Stay True Foundation. I wear the shade 4Y60. It used to be the shade Y503, if you all remember. In that video, I explained to you all that they had changed the shade ranges around because they didn't have any neutral shades originally. So they added neutral shades, so that means that they changed the numbering system. So I used to wear the shade Y505, but I'm glad I got this one as opposed to that one because what ended up happening was I ended up... This foundation actually oxidizes, so it oxidizes to the Y505 shade I used to wear. And so it worked out perfectly for me in this shade as opposed to the shade that I was going to buy. I actually had to, I think I went in store to get it. And then that's when I found out about them changing the colors and the um, system or whatever. And the girl explained it to me. So once she explained it to me, I came on camera and explained it to you. And a lot of you said that was helpful and I'm glad it was because I was like confused myself. When I was online looking, I was like, these are not the numbers. What are the numbers? That's the one thing I liked about Makeup Forever. So of course I was pissed that the numbering system had changed because I was just out here clueless and because they added shades that didn't help. So um, it's a good foundation though. Like if you want that your skin but better situation going on and then you can use that new powder that it just came out with to put on top to get more coverage to your liking. If you don't want to use a whole bunch of liquid and you just want to do like one pump and then add the powder on top to give you a full snatch beat that doesn't look too powdery because I feel like sometimes if you put too much liquid on and then you put a powder on top of it if you don't do the method I do which is spraying your face to blend it all in and make it look natural that you might go out looking a little bit crazy so um I feel like it, it's a great foundation for that and I feel like it's one that actually works for a lot of different skin types no matter what your skin type is I feel like it should work out for you pretty well which is rare I feel like that for a foundation but I definitely feel like that's one of them Come child I feel like I've been talking forever we only on concealers girl I feel like I should do a part two with just other stuff. But otherwise, we're going to be here forever. Because we know I'm going to talk entirely too much. So, an uh, honorable mention is going to be this Tom Ford Tracy Salt Matte Concealer. Because I do like this, but I just feel like it's grossly overpriced. But if you're willing to place a grossly overpriced price because it's on sale at the Sephora sale, I wear the shade 5W010. So, what I do with this is, as you can see, I've used a little bit of it. It's... it's at a weird little angle because I have used it so it's not like I'm not using it but what I do with this concealer is this is a concealer I use underneath it's like my underpainting concealer basically that's the best way to describe it I underpaint underneath the eyes after I color correct or sometimes I won't color correct I'll just underpaint with this product and then I'll go in on top with a um brightening concealer to give me more of that brightening effect of, um I'll go in with a little concealer on top and I feel like it just looks beautiful that's the way I use it when I'm um, I did the when I did a um look with the Burberry foundation the next day and I've been mixing the Burberry foundation in with the makeup by Mario and I've been loving that but um I'm the makeup by Mario foundation to me is more of like a mixer foundation so that's why I didn't bring it to show to y'all today so this kind of considers an honorable mention because I don't necessarily know that I'm crazy about it but then again I feel like it's just because the colors off for me and sometimes I can't look past when the colors off for me so this is the Givenchy what is this? Prism Libre Skin Caring Concealer. I have the shade N405. There's another shade I want to get instead. I think it's like N385 as opposed to um, this shade. Because this shade just matches my skin tone a little too well. So I'm not necessarily crazy about it. However, I feel like it might be good for me in the summertime. Because, of course, um, you get a little bit darker in the summertime. So I the only reason I'm holding on to it. And then in the wintertime, if I use it up. By then, then I'll go ahead and buy a new one myself. So I like the product. It's just more of because the color's off, I'm not crazy about it. That's why it's an honorable mention for me. But if you can find your right shade online, I feel like you might really like this product. It's definitely a more creamy concealer because it has that skincare ingredient. So I guess it's trying to give you more of the eye shadow, I mean, sorry, the eye cream vibe to it than an actual concealer because this is quite creamy. So just bear that in mind when you use it. Don't be trying to slather on a whole lot because it's really creamy and you'll end up, you know, in the situation you want to be in girl but it gives a decent amount of coverage it does look nice on the skin i just prefer this valentino one a little bit better it's a little more liquidy but i feel like it does um give a better brightening effect to the skin and it's easier to blend out i feel like it takes a little bit more to blend out the Givenchy one too but i'm the type of person who puts on a lot of concealer so that could be why this one blends out nicely 
when I put a color corrector underneath it ahead of time, because it blends out smoothly, I feel like they just blend together nicely and I still get like the brightness covering up my dark circles from the under eye um, corrector and then I get um, the coverage I need from the concealer. So I like this one better. I think this one is maybe like a dollar or two cheaper than that one. And y'all know I just love Valentino products. So let me show you the weird doe foot because I feel like the doe foot is unique to other doe foot. So it has like this weird, if y'all see it has this weird arch turn to it. So. I don't know. I really like this concealer though and I am glad to have it in my collection. I wear the shade DA2 if anyone cares. I was looking at two different shades for this too but I went with this one. I'm glad I did because I feel like I would have ended up like the Givenchy one not liking it as much just because the color would have been off because the other color I picked was darker than this one but it's a great product. It's really lightweight underneath the eye but it gives a good amount of coverage so that's what I like about it. It's not going to feel heavy underneath your eyes. I think I've talked about this concealer before too and when I first got this one I wasn't crazy about it either. This is the one that matches the Good Apple Serum Foundation so this is the Good Apple I think it's full coverage concealer. Sorry lightweight full coverage concealer. I have the shade 10 162 when I first bought it. I didn't have nearly light enough shade so I um, didn't like it as much. I was like I wasn't that crazy about it but again a lot of times when I don't have the right shade I, I just can't look past it. So once I got my correct shade I've really been enjoying this. I love to use it with the um, Good Apple Foundation. That's how I am when I have a product that goes with another product. I try to use them together because obviously they were made to work together so they're going to work together better with each other than they might with other products. So. I really like this concealer and do recommend that you try it out. But I told y'all during the KVD um, Beauty Friends and Family says you should buy it from them because I think they had like 30% off like Rihanna was doing on her website. So I hope y'all went and hooked it up because I made a whole post about it and gave y'all recommendation products and everything. So yeah, the next concealer I have to talk about, I was on the fence about this concealer too. It's like lately y'all be feeling on the fence about certain things. I think it's just I be needing a certain amount of time to test them. That's why I always say I'm doing the first impressions and it where it says I don't ever tell y'all like it's a review because you know my opinion is subject to change. I have the Milk Makeup Future Fluid All Over Cream Concealer in the shade 20 Olive. So when this first came out I didn't even want to buy it but if you all remember I told you I was traumatized by that um that concealer primer or eyeshadow primer thing they had came out with and ever since then I've just kind of been eerie of them so it took me forever to buy this just because I was like mm. but I think it was a slow week in makeup and I ended up grabbing this one I was grabbing some other new makeup just to like try out and I actually um was on the fence about it for a while but maybe like the last month or two I've been trying it out and I've been really impressed with it so I figured it's something new for me to include in this video so I would go ahead and include it now let's do these powders, girl. Yes, I know, girl. I'm telling y'all. When you watch a recommendation video for me, honey, you'll be a hell. So, next, I, I'll try to make sure I have it set up to where it's like complexion and then, you know, in the chapters or whatever. So, next, I have this House Last powder. I just told y'all about this. is the Bio Blurring Loose Setting Powder. I have the shade Golden. So, she has, like, I think, four shades. I bought the one that works best for underneath my eyes. Just because I wanted to try the blurring, obviously, in this area. Because this is where my pores are the biggest. So, I always try to... Whenever it says blurring, I like, try to buy it to, like, go underneath there. I'm not necessarily concerned about blurring the texture on my face. Because I feel like the most texture is on my cheeks. But here's what the color looks like. It's just a simple... Um, lighter version of a golden banana powder so i feel like it's a little bit lighter than the ones i normally wear like the it's lighter than the huda beauty one if you all know about that one then you know but it's a really good product it actually does a pretty decent job of blurring i like the way it sets underneath the eyes and i love the coloring of it and i and that's what i was concerned about at first because at first i wasn't crazy about the coloring but after a while it kind of grew on me and plus sometimes i don't want as bright a banana as the one i'm going to show you now so i have this nars soft matte advanced perfecting powder i bought the shade bay of course again um i bought the one <laughs> match my skin tone see this one is deeper than the one from huda beauty uh, not from huda beauty from um house labs i was just talking about this is the normal color of yellow i would buy so that's why i was hesitant of that one but it turned out well this one of course is amazing because it's from nars this is actually the first nars powder i have tried i've never tried a nars powder because they usually had like loose powders and then they had like that white setting powder that i wasn't crazy about so when they came out with this i was like yes i'm getting it. i'm kind of tempted to buy a shade for my face but i'm like i don't think i need a shade for my face i got like a million powders at home so i was against that but i'm like this one for underneath the eyes for a quick set yellow golden under eye yes i'm here for it now i have this new 
um makeup forever hd skin matte velvet powder now this is that same blurring powder from before they just made it a little bit smoother because they made it talc free so i have the shade 4y70 i actually feel like this shade is darker than the original one i have but i feel like i'm going to use this one in the summertime and then the original y505 shade that i have i'll just use um in the winter time but yeah this stuff is really nice it is it's just a tad bit smooth more smoothing than the original one so if you want to get it based upon that or if you never tried the original one the original one is amazing that one is just a tad bit better when it comes to the blurring and the smoothing on the skin which is you know um i heard taking the talc out was supposed to help them do that to me it looked about the same i like i said there was a small difference but i don't think it was enough for if you already have that powder to go out and buy it again just for a little bit more blurring like it's not that deep sis or at least for me it's not that deep it's, if it's that deep for you then go ahead and get it i'm not saying not to it's just i feel like if you already have it use up what you have and then you know they'll have another friends and family sale where they do 25 percent off because they did their 25 percent off sale already too and you can get it at a little better discount next i have the dior forever natural velvet um, compact foundation I wear the shade 6 neutral in all art all Dior products so I bought this on a whim because I had never tried Dior powder and I was scared as hell look at this color but once I put it on the skin it actually warmed up to my skin and looked better the funny thing is the powder looking like this it warms up better to the skin than the liquid um, foundation does which I don't understand but this powder warmed up to my skin nicely and actually looked really nice on the skin whereas with the foundation the liquid foundation you have to do a whole lot and it, it's um, removable so you can like take it out and buy a whole new compact to put in it so if you're concerned about that you can get a discount when you go to buy the powder again because you can just pop it out and take it again so i like it okay i'm not necessarily crazy about it but you know like i do like it enough to talk about it so it's one of those more things you consider like an honorable mention if you will Y'all, please stop trying to talk about so many products because we're going to do this for Elva and Elva. And I still got like, I think two or three more videos to do because I got luxury, um, I'm doing my luxury bag collection video. And then I'm just specifying on one particular brand that I'm truly in love with this black on too. So I wanted to do that today. And then I got a couple of perfume videos I need to do as far as perfume recommendations. I don't think I'm going to have any perfume recommendations in this video. And I hardly have any eyeshadow recommendations in this video too. I know right who am I? girl today i don't know why because i'm not re recommending a whole bunch of stuff with the um face stuff and the lip stuff it shouldn't take that long because i don't have that many face things or lip things for once with the blush oh i think i just yeah i threw it in there first. okay so i got a few blushes a couple of lip products and a couple of like cream contour ish type products so i'm gonna just leave all the lip products in the bag and those will be the last thing we talk about so i'm gonna start off with the setting spray because i only have one it's this Milk Makeup Pore Eclipse Matte, Matte Setting Spray. So, I this is growing on me. I actually put it on my face today. I was supposed to talk about this in the lip products, but I forgot. But <laughs> this is what's on my face right now. So, y'all know I set my face with illuminating um, setting spray just to push everything down in to make it look more glowy like it does now. And then I use the mattifying and blurring setting spray on top. Of that to press it in and make sure it's matte then I'll spray this on top as like a last so I spray three different times on my face and I wait till I put all the products on an end to make sure I seal in everything so that like the pigmentation on everything lasts longer because I found when I did it before it wasn't lasting as long but with the new technique of doing it everything at the very end I feel like it makes my makeup last a whole lot longer again you can watch the technique in my um Givenchy video that I linked up there ahead of time but yeah Let's get into some cream products. So I got some cream bronzers. I got a few blushes. I only have one highlighter and a couple of lip products and that should be it. So the cream, so this part shouldn't take that long. This is the part that takes the least amount of time. So I got the cream contour stick or is this cream bronzer stick? And no, it's called the Lone Limits cream bronzer stick in the shade Strength. I wear the shade Strength when it comes to all the um, bronzer and contour products from LYS. As you can see, this thing has been used because the tip of mine is turned sideways because I've been using it a bit. So that's what it looks like. This is very emollient and creamy and it does an excellent job when giving you um, contour or bronze, whichever you prefer to call it. 
I actually like this is more of a bronze and a contour, but I couldn't remember what the exact name of it was. And it only says no limit strength on the bottom. So I went with what I could guess. Okay, girl. But it's a great product. Y'all know NYS is affordable, like I said at the beginning. So I definitely think it's a good alternative to some of those higher end creams. Like, I feel like it's just as nice as the shawl that you too, but it wasn't going to cost you nearly as much. Now, obviously, you're not going to give me this much product. And it's in stick form as opposed to in the giant pack. But um, I feel like it's a really nice product. And it's, I feel like it's more emollient than the Charlotte Tilbury one. And if I remember correctly, that one has more colors too. So just bear that in mind when you're shopping. Next, I have the Makeup by Mario Sculpt, Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick. I have the shade dark now this thing is hard to come by and find like makeup by Mario just in general as a four it seems like it'd be hard to get but I have been using this pretty often and I like it uh, uh, pretty much I didn't want to talk about the sculpting ones he recently came out with because I did those in the last video and I have almost used mine up but that's okay I have two different shades so I'm gonna just make that other shade work and then I'll make this work too but his his bronzing products are like some of my favorites you now the powders I'm not crazy about the bronzing powders but his cream bronzing products I feel like beautiful amazing and do an excellent job so if i told you get anybody's cream products that are at a somewhat reasonable price i would definitely say makeup by mario you can either get this stick or the new 2.0 sculpting um things he came out with because they are amazing and i want to shout that one out because i feel like when it first came out i didn't buy like i didn't buy those are the blush sticks but that's really good and i do have a blush stick but i still to this day haven't tried it i know the shame don't judge me so i know a couple of these blushes i've talked about before but i'm here um we're gonna talk about them again Thank you so much. I like them that much. And unfortunately, I think there's only one that's not high-end. So I'll get, I'll, I mean, luxury. So I'll get that one out of the way now. I have the one size cheek clapper and attention seeker. This actually really works really nicely for some of my skin tone. If you watch the video where I use it, I think it was the Valentino concealer video that I used um, this in. And it actually worked out pretty nicely, which I was shocked about. Because because of this shade of pink, I didn't think it would work out nicely for my skin tone. But it turned out pretty well. And then the shimmery um, blush I put on top of it looked amazing. So if you're my skin tone... You can actually pull this off. I have pulled it off. And like I said, um, I pulled it off in a video and I talked about it to y'all in that video. So honey, not to mention these blushes are really nice. I think I have the Berry Gay one. That's the um, the deep tone Berry one. I always try shades like that out just to be safe to make sure I like the brand's formula or whatever. Because even if I don't, I feel like at least the color will look flattering on me. So I can't say it's the color. So I always try to stick to those just when I'm trying new blush products. But it actually works pretty well. So that's what made me actually go out and buy that one. Next, I have the Gucci Cheeks and Eye Powder Luminous Matte. That's what they're calling this. Um, I have the shade Warm Berry. I actually have Radiant Pink as well. I left that one at home. I'm trying to make myself use more of my pink blushes. But I have definitely used this one quite a bit. I like the tone on this blush. I like the fact that it is Luminous Matte. Because it has that nice little satin look to the skin. But it doesn't do like the whole glittery effect like the Cheek Clapper one I just showed you. But this is a really nice blush. The only thing is I feel like it's a small blush. And then the shade range in the um, Gucci blushes is definitely lacking. Because I think it's that one. And like maybe only one other one I can wear. So I'm like I'm going to need them to step that up. Because um, them and Dior. Because I got the Dior um, Core. What is this called? Color uh, Awakening. Okay y'all. So I got cut off when I was talking about this um, Dior Color Awakening Ultra. It's on Universal Blush Natural Healthy Glow in the shade Coral. I was talking about how the Dior blushes just don't be given when it comes to anybody who's of a deeper skin tone. So this one works out for me okay. But it's like I have to put the cream blush from um, Rare Beauty underneath it. So she has like a peachy tone one that's more skin tone friendly for some of my skin tone. So I'll put that underneath and then I'll just pop this on top. Because I love the luminous glow that these blushes give. It's just the coloring of them is definitely lacking for anyone with any sort of pigmentation. So I need them to step that up while they keep um, running out of the pink ones. Like I need you to make more colors though. You know like can we make a bright red one like House Labs did? Can we make a berry tone one? I mean everybody usually has a berry tone blush. Like why don't y'all have one? Anyway, next I have the Valentino blushes. Now, I got into these because of Tina the Fancy Face again. Here in the background. It's her fault that I own any of these. And now I own like three. So, I'm going to blame Tina. There's a chocolate color one I kind of want to get that I saw Coco Swatches with. Um, But, you know, um, I think I'm going to hold off on that and wait 
for that to be like a birthday present to myself because I already have three of these. This shade is number five. I have a more pink toned one and then I have a more like, I guess you could call it berryish, purplish toned one. So I like the fact that they have a lot of unique colors in these and that's what I like about them. Plus the formula is really nice on the skin and they last a pretty long time. Like I've worn these all day and it hasn't moved. But I sometimes I just attribute stuff to the method in which I told y'all I use when it comes to putting on my setting spray and putting on the rest of my products. So sometimes I think it's that. But sometimes the quality of these products just be that bomb. And I feel like before I had changed up my routine that that blush lasted a pretty long time. Okay, so the last thing I have to talk about before we get to the lips is this highlighter. So I have the Rare, what are these called? I doesn't say it, just says highlight on the back and I have the shade Flaunt. So I have the shade Flaunt and then I have the Rose, I think it's that pinkish rose gold shade. I left that one at home though. I just grabbed the first one that was in the bathroom and this one that's in the bathroom. I was trying to make myself use this one more because I was using the pink one quite a bit. So I was like, we need to use this one more. But um, this is what it looks like. It's definitely a little bit glittery and sparkly. So just keep that in mind. But if you do, uh, if you spray your face like I do and press it in, it will easily disappear and it'll look kind of like what's going on right now. Just a nice little subtle glow. It won't look as glittery as it does when you initially put it on. So just bear that in mind. Now let's get to these lip products. Love how I set all the stuff in the bag like the lip products weren't already in the bag and I was sitting it on top of it. Like a whole clown. Uh, <laughs> okay, so I have any lip products from... um give by Gwen Stefani are a 10 so just 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 buy them don't ask questions just buy them so this is the high performance satin lipstick and the shade original recipe y'all know she lives for red lipstick so she has a whole bunch of different forms of red lipstick now I actually have not tried this satin one I have tried her matte lipsticks I found this one at TJ Maxx and I thought it was a um, matte, but apparently it's a satin. I'm just showing this representation though. Like whenever she has a lip product, you don't have to hesitate by buying it. Just buy it. it. It's amazing. Just buy it. Don't ask questions. Just buy it. Her lip products are amazing. I love her liquid lipsticks. I love her lip glosses. I'm actually wearing one of her lip glosses now. I'll sh show it to you in a second. But like all her lip products are bomb. Like just, just buy her lip products. If she's selling a lip product, just buy it. Of course, y'all know I had to get the... Fenty Velvet Liquid Lipstick. I have the shade, um, the MVP, and I have a couple other shades. Like, of course, I had to get the shade Riri because y'all know I love a, a nice um, mauve moment, and the shade Riri is mauve, so I had to have it. Thank you so much. But, of course, Auntie Tina or Tina the Fancy Face. Again, see, Tina just all in this video getting us to buy stuff because I'm over here trying to get you to buy it. She told me to buy it, but I saw it on her, and I was like, say less. Say less, I need it. And the formula on these is so nice. The formula on these is really similar to the Makeup by Mario formula. Um, of a lipstick I'm about to show in a minute. But this, I feel like, is a little bit smoother than that. It also gives me the vibes of the Lethal Cosmetics um, Air Whip lipsticks that they have. But theirs are in a smaller container. But, like, the formula on this is really nice. It, it's similar to other formulas in my collection. But, like, it's not similar to other colors in my collection. I tried to make sure about that. Because if we're going to have similar formulas, we don't need to have similar colors. Next, I'm talking about this makeup by Mario. I've talked about these before. These are the Ultra Suede Cozy Lip Creams in the shade um, Mocha Latte. That's the shade I have here, but I have like three shades in this. I think there's a couple more in the bathroom. This is the one I took home because um, I feel like this is the one I would use the most and I don't have that often the color of. So it's just a nice little suede um, lipstick. I feel like this one is a little bit heavier than the ones that Rihanna has. Rihanna's form is a little bit thinner and the um, Lethal Cosmetics form is, is even thinner than hers. So like Lethal has the lightest formula, then Rihanna's formula is in the middle and then the Makeup by Mario one, I feel like it's just a tad bit heavier than the other two that I talked about. So it depends on what level of smoothness you want, which one you should get. But Makeup by Mario has a lot of those new colors, if you will, where Rihanna has a variety of like, she has a couple of nudes and then she has a couple of red tones and then she has her standard deep brown. So she did the standard colors that she did when she released the um velvet lip not the original liquid lipsticks in the little um interesting container she has next um i'm gonna talk about the lip combo i have on and we should be done with lips i got like i think three eyeshadow products so that shouldn't take that long but yeah so i got the rare beauty kind words 
matte lipsticks i can't find the lip liner i don't know what i did with y'all um i i had the chocolate brown of course but this is the shade live that's on my lips that's just the one i brought i have three shades i have the peachy one i have the pink one and then i have like the nude beige one that's usually what i buy when it comes to lipsticks because you know those are the shades i use the most since i give y'all all these colorful and crazy eyes normally i feel like we need to tone down our lips every once in a while i'll give you a crazy lip with a crazy eye but it's rare so this is what the color looks like i've talked about these before so i feel like i don't need to talk about it too much if you want to hear more about them i got whole dedicated video to this launch when it first came out i went and picked it up in store the day and like you know gave y'all a video so you can you know rest assured that that's cool um and then again this lip gloss this is what i have on the top this is the bubble pop electric lip glosses in the shade dolled up so i have dolled up i have sweet tooth and it's one and i think it's one or two other ones i have but i tried doll up today for the first time and that's what's going on with the lip combo but i'm really liking it i love the um colors of her lip glosses the formula isn't too sticky and crazy and she has really fun and unique colors that i love so um i love those let's get into these um little eye products because i literally only have three and we're just gonna continue on the gwen stefani train so i have this quad from her i know right because all she did was boring colors but i have it this is the give i see in color multi-dimensional eyeshadow quad and i have the shade rich girl like that song she did if i was that rich girl so i actually wore this yesterday so in um it's, it's a video you're gonna see called um five things from old school youtube i can't let go and i'm talking about five becca products that i refuse to give it up even though becca doesn't exist anymore or all the products from becca don't exist anymore because if you all remember smashbox took them over we talked about that early in this video but this is what it looks like i know right i used this but i use actually all the shades in here i took my mom to a play for her birthday because she's an aries so her birthday is the 16th but adrian gave up and went out of town with his dad for spring break so while he was gone since the tickets were kind of pricey and i knew he wasn't gonna be paying attention or care i made sure i took her while he was gone because she really wanted to see it and you know i was like it could be mother daughter time for me to take her the sad part is she wasn't even excited about um the show i took her to she was kind of disappointed and thought it was gonna be better than it was but she was happy that she got to go because she said for years she didn't want to see it but she never told me so when she told me this year that's when i took her anyway the form of these shadows is really nice it blends out really nicely it gives a good amount of pigmentation the shimmers um i feel like they're a little lackluster like they're more on the satiny thing i feel like the one on the bottom gave a little more um shimmer to it than the one on the top but like it still didn't do much like i'll swatch them so you can see what i'm talking about to me they're just giving more of like a satin vibe if you will like it's a little bit of a metallic -y satin the deeper one on the bottom but the one at the top is literally just like a boring hardly even there barely see type satin so these are the two shades right here so if you like a soft look i definitely think you would like this i paired it with another eyeshadow palette I think, i'm pretty sure i paired with the Nabla secret garden palette and took the neutral shades out of that to get some extra because this is the bottom one i was telling you about as you can see it's giving more metallic than the top one but this one i just popped in the inner corner because my mom doesn't like like the huge pop in the inner corner that i like to do with the extra sparkly shades so i tried to tone it down for her and she likes the more toned down look so since i was taking her out for her birthday i did more of like her look versus you know my look so that's why in that video you're gonna see my eyes not looking the way they normally do next i have these dior quads so i was actually shocked that i liked these dior eyeshadow palettes i have the burgundy neutrals and then the khaki um neutrals so these were just the holiday palettes from them i haven't really tried a whole bunch of um eyeshadows from that i can buy before this year that i was crazy about so that's why i don't have anything to talk about for once i know right it's so weird me not talking about a whole bunch of eyeshadow talk about a whole bunch of other stuff to say it the last one i have to talk about is the natasha denona mini pastel palette now, i did like this way better than i like the original pastel as sad as that is because it's like you made a whole pastel palette and it wasn't giving it all but the five pan is just out here doing the lord's work and just <laughs> making oh, so much better of a first impression on me than that one did i will say though the disappointing thing about this there's only this one matte so it's like i wish she had gave us more mattes and shimmers but i'm assuming she was thinking about this more of being a companion palette to the bigger palette and that's why she picked the colors where she did because otherwise it's like i don't know because maybe this deeper blue should have been a matte too so you have a darker out of v shade you have this as a crease shade and then you have these three to choose from for like lid and inner corner and whatnot i'd have liked that a whole lot better but you know since it's supposed to be pastel i guess i still don't understand why this deeper blue is here but whatever but that's all i got for y'all so that was enough right i hope you all enjoyed this video remember y'all the diamonds comment down below and tell me what you plan on buying from what i showed you and i'll catch you guys in the next one be blessed girl bye